Welcome back to update day on this channel. Today's update is once again all about group Iron Man. First things first, they wanted to confirm what activities actually remove group prestige, and these activities are the Chambers of Zarek, the Theater of Blood, and the Nightmare of Ashihama. But this will also include the Tombs of a Masket when it does release, and they're also still considering whether next should be part of that list. But apart from that, any other activity slash minigame in this game is completable with other members outside your group without losing your prestige. Another commonly asked question is can you rename your group and you can all you have to do is go to the iron tutor on the node. And then the final commonly asked question is I have a group of three but another friend wants to join later can I add my friend at a later date and of course the answer to this question is yes the only thing you do lose is your group prestige which is basically just a cosmetic star by your name other than that it doesn't really affect your gameplay whatsoever. Next up for this week's update, we have hotfixes, and they performed a bunch of these in relation to group and their interfaces. We're not going to touch on every single one of them, but some of them include players losing their prestige status when they shouldn't have, or even players having the wealth transfer limits applied onto their account when they shouldn't have. But they have fixed a ton of these problems, and they also believe they fixed the core problem with the group creation on initial launch. I know a lot of people were struggling to create their original group, and they believe this was partially due to just server strain, but they believe they fixed any other issue in relation to it. There will be a few more hotfixes coming in this week, one of which is when closing the group storage and reopening it, the resize pop-up wasn't legible. This has been corrected. But now for what they say is the most important bit of this update, and that is our feedback. Group storage space and the save function. As you're probably aware, we temporarily disabled the access to the group shared storage over the weekend to investigate an issue. This feature has now been restored, and we thank you for your patience, so group storage is 100% back. And they've also stated there has been a ton of demand to increase not only the amount of space, but also mess around a little bit with the interface because the save function is kind of clunky. And the improvement they're deciding to go for here is they intend to change the cross icon so that it will have a save and leave function. Therefore, meaning the hotkey you use to close interfaces, which is for most players escape, will also double as a save hotkey when you close the bank. This would be an absolutely massive addition because once you take items out of the group storage, you always have to hit that little save button and it is kind of annoying. This would allow you to just hit one escape button and save and close at the exact same time, which would be a massive time save. Now moving on, we have group chat and group broadcast. They're planning to implement a system very similar to one that works for clans. This means that you can opt into receiving notifications when a member of your group receives a significant loot or achieves a major milestone. Now for the final edition of this week's update and potentially maybe the biggest aspect of this entire blog is a potential shared group hall. We're aware there's huge demand for a shared player owned house for groups or failing that a customizable instance which can be shared, upgraded and only accessible by your group. We'd like to explore the possibility of a shared group hall and we're investigating how we can achieve this alongside our other projects. This said, please keep in mind this is no small task, so if they were to purely focus on this project, it would take most of their development time. But nothing can truly replace the functionality, utility, and enjoyment of sharing a customizable instance with your group. Therefore, in the short term, they're considering whether they can potentially allow players to visit the player-owned houses without the owner needing to be at home. They will have to look into this, so they hope to have a response to this popular community suggestion once they have fully scooped out the work involved. But that is everything for this week's update. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting that like button, and I will catch you guys in the next video.